Honeycomb Bowman as it's past 1130 at night. It's 1926 as we're beginning to send troops over to China as we're going to go invade them and take over Xinjiang right here. This whole entire huge province right here will be bordered right next to Tibet too. That would be great and stuff as we got a whole year to go still. And of course Punjab can't do anything with them. As we're starting to, as you see, build tanks too now. They're slowly but surely being built. As we'll send you guys down here, actually. Alright, so, okay, and we're also upgrading our na forts. I mean, I'm not our forts, our, um, our navies too. As we got, I think we got rid of all of our monitors and ironclads in the entire navy and stuff. As our factories are still doing good. Indirect fire is going to be unlocked in May and stuff as this series is almost over and speaking of which Okay, we've got another ship built. Where are you heading though? No, actually you're gonna go down here. We need more ships like you Anyways, I was saying um, let's go take a look at ships that mean I'm troops We can get rid of as I hear another ship get built. We're gonna check on you in a second All right, free fat with that. Tank? Okay, it's a tank right there no, go there. We don't need you to go back in Germany. Where was it? Where was that station? Oh, there we go. We don't need that anymore. Since our war of Germany. Oh, French got a huge revolution going on. Uh, oh, French communists are now happening, peering up as they're in a fascist government, too. And I heard a ship on the move. Okay, you're heading the right way, then. Where's this other ship? No, you're going to go down here instead. We need more ships right there. Alright, so it should be very soon. Oh, we got 160 days ago still. Oh, the Ottomans are declaring war on Austria-Hungary now, huh? I guess to try and get back southern Serbian stuff. Alright, unfortunately... Oh, they have no strength. Oh, they got Italy at, on their backs too. Yeah, I don't think Austria-Hungary is going to win that war. I think they're done for right there. I'm sure Austria is going to probably try and get um, v I mean, Venetia from them too. Oh boy, it looks like Austria. I, well, I did break Austria Hungary, as you all saw, as they're split in two, just like I broke the Ottomans too earlier. Alright, do that. Alright, steel production going up. Fix a relationship. Oh, damn it, we got caught, but that's not too much infamy, thankfully. It looks like um Portugal's trying to get, get something from Spain. Well, ain't that just something? <laughs> Alright, so, um. Damn it, Americans kicked us out of um, Mongolia again. So start supplying the troops and stuff. We're getting ready to go to war. As we'll cut all that crap. We got 99% literacy too. As we got up, we got unlocked that. Yep, you go over there. So let's see. Yep, all bow ships and dreadnoughts and stuff. As we'll combine you guys. I guess we'll do you now, since you're a cheap one. I want. I'm wonder if we can still do it though. I wonder if we can actually get everything unlocked before the game ends. That would be quite impressive if we could do that. So we got combined tanks with um cavalry and stuff. You're all tanks right there. Another general died, unfortunately. Why ain't you come in yet? For God's sake. We have access with Yeah, we got access with them. As it's gonna be two more months to go. Naval risk management this October. Okay, you're still going the right way. Use that diplomat point on the Netherlands, who are neutral with us. Wow, 70 research points. That is incredibly high. Alright, so up they kicked us out of Sokoto. Just lovely. Alright, we're going to delete you. Hey, tea, coffee, and opium, I mean, opium production went up. Oh, the um, Austrians. I mean, hung no, that's Austrian hungry. No, I don't want them to have axes. No, I want them to get fucked up. Come on, Turkey. I want you to... I want you to fuck up Austria, but I hope they fuck you up enough that you won't be a problem either. Because I'm sure you're still pissed off at what we did to you when we kicked out Iraq from you. Check on the infrastructure stuff. Up, oh, it hasn't done right there, so we'll do that. Up, oh, I see some more of... Oh, Italy wants access. We'll give them that. We have a good relationship with Italy pretty much throughout the entire game. 
as we'll upgrade their railroads and stuff. I guess we'll do Panjab too, although probably not the smart idea since I'm sure um, Persia wants to go to war from probably eventually soon again. Alright, here we go. We got the Kazabelli now. Where's this 236,000 troops at? Such Oh, now all of a sudden it's showing. All combined stuff. Alright, so we'll send you guys up here. We'll send you guys over here. And then this other one at. Where the... I guess I'm re um, resupplying. Because eventually I am going to get rid of you guys. So we'll send you down here. Alright, now start getting the ships in motion to begin blockading China go down here and then we'll send you guys up here too to blockade them we'll wait and then we'll begin the big invasion of China again it's been a couple decades since we've last done this all right here we go they're all in motion all right time to go to war with China as we want Xinjiang. So yeah, that's what we want, right there. The British will accept. Germans will accept though. That's that's pretty good. Hungary will accept. So a whole bunch of countries will accept though, thankfully. It looks like a bunch of Chinese substates too will accept. That's pretty good. Unfortunately you're not fully supplied, but oh well, you're gonna have to deal with it. You're gonna go through there, you're gonna go down here. I think I had you on... Oh, you're not going that way. All right, you're going to go down there. You're going to go over here. You're actually going to go storm those Chinese forces right there. You're going to go down here. You're going to go up and around them, too. Into there. Into here. Into here, actually. You go into here, and then you go into here. All right, China. You're getting invaded. And yep, a whole bunch of the um Persian, I mean um Chinese substates are helping out. That's a pretty big win. Let's crack out. Wants to get back in their lines that they broke away from us. Damn, we already took it over. Holy crap! That was fast. All right, go into here then. I think you're next. As we're killing the Chinese right there. Unfortunately, though, it looks like we're taking a lot of attrition too from that loss. And now the British want an alliance again. Maybe you shouldn't have broken our alliance in the first place. You should have just helped us. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Beijing is wide open as we're going to go just storm them. Alright, so now we're going to go over here. Alright, now swarm over here now. I knew it's going to be that one very soon. We're going to go down here now. As we're going to have almost all their naval ports blocked off right here. Okay, looks like they're heading down here. We're going to go over here then. Hey, we killed them right there. Let's see, war score. It's already 19 and stuff. We need a 31 war score to be equal. They're still on the move. We already took that over. Hey, we already took over Beijing. Oh, we're losing up there. We better send some troops up there to help out. I can't believe our artillery is losing the tanks and stuff. That's pretty bad and stuff. I mean, we have the gas attack support for crying out loud. We should be killing them, pretty much. And yeah, they are taking a lot more losses. Okay, now they're definitely going to be losing now. We got double the troops now. As China's got split in a couple pieces. China's focusing... Oh, yeah, China's focusing on... Looks like all their energy over there instead. It's nice to be on the gas attacking side for once. Alright, so... Over here now. We're going to go... As we just keep destroying them, pretty much. Alright, we already took that over. I think, that, yeah, they're on the move. Okay, you're just sitting there doing nothing, so you're going to go down to here. We'll ch uh, 29, we're not enough yet. Alright, got that now. Okay, we took that over. So, go down to here, and the rest of you are going to go over here. About to unlock Navy risk management soon in four more days. Got that now. Unpause already. I keep pressing unpause. Damn. 
Oh, Jesus Christ, stop rushing communists now. Right, we're in the middle of a war, for God's sake. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. So many of them. And St. Petersburg is completely surrounded, too. Oh, no, it's not good. I mean, how many of them could there be? Oh, Christ, that's going to be a problem. Over a million, for God's sake. At least it ain't three million like it was many years ago. It's okay, we unlocked that now, so pause. Alright, so, um... We still got you guys at minus three... I mean, in a, not even level three yet, so we're gonna research you. Oh, great local conscience going up. Alright, they're sitting there, doing nothing, of course. Over here... You're heading that way already. You're do doing nothing, so go down here already. Already on the move everywhere else at the moment. And those troops have been sitting there doing nothing. I completely forgot about them. So you're going to go down there too. As we just occupied that. Go into here. Alright, so war score's got to be really high. 40% now. Will they give up? Nope. Yep, looks like China was caught completely off guard by that attack. Yeah. That's how I like my attacks, completely by surprise. That way I don't have to that way they can't fight back pretty much. They're on the move, they're on the move, they're on the move. Huh, we had 70 okay, they're still on the move, that's why. Alright, so now fix our relationship with um Brazil. They didn't even do anything. Down into here. No, over here. Looks like they occupied that now, too. Oh, God, those troops were taking forever to get a move on. We gotta go over here now. Alright, they gotta be given up eventually. We've taken over so much of their territory already. We don't have a diplomatic point. Up. Here we go, they're giving up already. <laughs> now we got Xinjiang under our control now. Look how much bigger we got too. And with that, looks like we can't work on the railroads, unfortunately. So we're gonna... Oh, that's right, we can't. We, we're um, not... um, We're a liberal government, so... I mean, anarcho-liberal government. We can't do that. No, we're liberal government, so... Yeah, we can't do that, unfortunately. Alright, so we got a much bigger chunk of territory. So we'll send everyone home now. You're going to go up into D Mongolia. Oh boy, this is going to take forever to get all these troops back. That's the problem with like all these wars and stuff. We'll send some tr more troops over here too. You're going to go into Manchuria and stuff. And eventually I'm going to... I think we still got a whole bunch of rebels. Yeah, we got 500,000 rebels still to go. And we got bigger though. That's pretty nice and stuff. They didn't even look like they lost any military strength. They were just like so com caught completely off guard by that attack. Uh-oh, that's definitely not good. We got to keep our supplies up until we kill all those rebels. Alright, so now set your focus to go look for rebels and stuff. And unfortunately, I think we're going to get rid of you guys as we're starting to begin to modernize our military and stuff. God. Let me, give me a chance to look at this crap. Oh my god. I'm trying to build the last bit of tanks we can work on. Oh my god, these events won't mean these things won't pop, stop popping up as we're now in 1927. And we still got 252,000 rebels forming. Portugal really hates us. Okay, we, oh my god, we got so many countries we gotta do right here. I don't even really feel like bothering it at this point in the game. It's like so much crap, especially after this long episode, as we're gonna end the episode off here. So, done it!